Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. David back with you. Let's look at the next one, which is inflation. Now, this is, has popped into current issues really for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, <clears throat> in recent times, post-pandemic, in that period, guys, uh, just opening back up, I suppose, economies opening back up, big pushes in demand year on year in, in the comparison numbers. So big, big increases in demand. Um, at the same time, guys, here, supply disruptions. So you got a double whammy, really, affecting inflation. Um also, as well, um, um, the shortage of of uh, of labour as well. Um, lots of restrictions. Some people, perhaps who were older, not coming back to the workplace, ca causing quite a lot of employment or labour shortages here and there as well. Not helped by, I mentioned guys about, for example, conflicts at Russia, Ukraine as, as well too. Um, most of the things that we buy nowadays, guys, most of the things out there are often globally sourced. So any kind of disruptions in global supply chains, also that whilst the pandemic, um, you know, it's nowhere near as bad as it was, certain parts of the world heavily restricted, still shut down and, and uh, opening up at different points as well, impacting the supply of all kinds of things. Um, for example, guys, here in the UK, at the time of making this video, food, food inflation, something like 16% here in the UK. Also very difficult to source certain things like, like uh, cars, for example, um, and uh, certain types of food products with the, the conflict in Russia and, U and Ukraine. So also, of course, energy prices as well, um, very much uh, impacted by supply disruption. So um, when we look, guys, at some of the theory behind uh, inflation, yes, demand's one of those uh, uh, factors, but you also have supply disruptions causing the shortages, putting the prices up as well, too. Now, um, we're going to contrast then, guys, here between... Um, these kind of low inflation environments, when interest rates are very low, as they were for quite a long time, um, and then comparing this, guys, here with the high inflation environments. What we're going to see here, um, high inflation really starts to interact, particularly, of course, with wages and with wage negotiations, uh, which can, of, can create quite a spiral. So let's start off, guys, in the first uh, scenario, in this low inflation environment. Now, um, when when inflation is is low, yes, there are some individual prices that go up um, in the basket of goods, the CPI. Some of those might go up, but the point here, guys, is there's not much in terms of a spillover, meaning that the individual prices really aren't um, connected. They're not correlated. The correlations are relatively low, low levels of correlation. Um, and it means that um, that uh, whilst you might have some odd spikes or shortages here or there, they're not spilling over across different sectors and industries, um, and um, it's not kind of uh, catching and not spreading at all. One of the key important things that really helps in a low inflation expectation environment um, is that when it comes to you and I and wage uh, compensation negotiations, um, we're, we're not really paying that much attention to the impact of inflation because it's relatively small. It's not it's not on our mind. It's not in our expectations. Um, it's it's not something that we make big demands about. <clears throat> so that's what they mean, guys, when they say it's not a significant issue in wage negotiations. I guess it's not going to make too much of a difference. Um, and over over this period of time in the low inflation environment. Um, talks here about wages being less responsive, meaning that um, that we're not as uh, focused on it. I like this term here. Um, rationally, we're not really paying any attention. It's rational inattention. It's not making big difference. Now, if you contrast this over over here, guys, let's uh, bring in the nineteen seventies. Firstly, um, so in the nineteen seventies, um, a number of factors really. Uh, 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 caused and uh, and spiraled the inflation being very high. One, guys, was the economic shock of an oil crisis, 1973. Now, over this particular period of time, um, the 